It's Rena with 1111 Revelation Channel. I am going to try to speak up today as I read for you uh, just to remind all people exactly what the Lord thinks about dressing up in strange apparel, especially scary apparel. Um, I know a lot of you love that stuff out there. You think it's cool. It's great. But let me just read this to you and what what it says in the book of Zephaniah, okay? Because you have to understand that we had the pagan religions put in together in the mix with our Christianity. I'm not even a Christian anymore. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. I'm not going to um, submit anymore into pagan uh, churches that celebrate these holidays called Halloween, Christmas, these things. We all know Christmas is Nimrod's birthday, number one. Number two, the head of the Satanic Church uh, at the time, I believe, I don't even know his name. His name isn't even worth speaking. He's the one that said thank you to all the parents for letting your children worship Satan on Halloween. So we know that this is a high date, a big high date for during the period, it's like a whole week where they're doing all these rituals and sacrificing and stuff. I don't really want to go into the details of that, but I think you all should pay attention because there's a lot of Christians out there that go to trunk or treats and they go along with all this stuff. Why can't you just simply celebrate at home? Don't even, I wouldn't even trust the candy. Listen, the candy is cursed. Okay. You're cursing yourselves by decorating your homes in such a fashion. And I don't care who says what back. I really don't. This comes from straight up sitting on the throne of God. He would have me come on today because it's been sitting for quite a while. But today was the last day that I could. And it's like in my mind continuously. Sorry, excuse him. In my mind continuously. So... I just decided to figure out where in the Bible does it speak about the, the costumes and things like that. So just listen, okay, because it's coming. It's right here. It's not too long. The word of the Lord which came on to Zephaniah, the son of Cushi, the son of Gedaliah. I won't go on with the lineage, but let's say, I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. And I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord. I will also stretch out mine hand upon Judah and upon all inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will cut off the remnant of Baal, from this place and the name of the Chamarims with the priests and them that have worship with sorry and them that worship the host of heaven now if you don't know what the host of heaven are those are principalities and powers in high places and fallen angels little g's it's strong's 430 and 433, gods, plural, Elohim, magistrates, angels, okay? So let's just, we'll clarify there. That's what they are, and that's what that means. So they worship the host of heaven upon the housetops, and them that worship and that swear by the Lord, and that swear by Melchem, and them that are turned back from the Lord, turned back. Okay, our God, our Lord is Anacrino, one, the one who judges vigorously from down to up. And it, it says over and over in every single book in the Bible to turn back to the Lord your God. Turn back. Don't be backwards. Okay, so get it? It's easy, you guys, if you would just take the language literal. And them that are turned back from the Lord and those that have not sought the Lord nor inquired for him. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice. He hath bid his guests 
and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Hello, strange apparel. That would be costumes. That would be dressing up like something that you're not. Okay, so that qualifies to me as a Halloween uh, holiday where you're dressing up, uh, scaring people, putting a mask on that matches up with it. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate and an howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. Howl, ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down and they that bear silver are cut off. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their lees that say in their hearts, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore, their good shall become a booty and their house is a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near. And hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy radiance of all them that dwell in the land. Okay, so pastors that are selling silver and gold, silver and gold, not going to do you a bit of good. My suggestion to everybody out there is get rapture letters posted on your refrigerators in each room of your home and also spare bibles get bibles because it's going to be a there's going to be a fathom of the words y'all and so you need to prepare for whoever is left and um they can find the stuff your stash whatever you have that you've and just remember there was a shortage in baby formula and even if you don't have babies in the house you might want to you know do a little thing i just heard about that earlier and i think that that's a great idea as well um but take the necessary um um procedures and put them down on paper that you would like to do and then cross it off check 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 done 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 if you are not saved, if you don't know who Jesus is, he is loving you. He has been loving you, prodigal children that you are. You must return back to him. And it's so, it's not hard. He didn't make this hard. Okay. A, admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. B, believe with all your mind, heart, and soul that he died on the cross. The blood is what saves you. Your future present and past sins and i mean it does not give you a license to sin that's not what i'm saying we are all sinners that are saved by grace through our faith amen and then c call upon his name and confess he is lord and when you start this process because i did this in 2016 when you start to search him out it takes it takes a little bit of time but he does respond and he will show you in ways no no possible way anybody else but God can do it <laughs> all right D 
is deliverance. I don't want to argue because the Holy Spirit got me up out of bed at 3.30 in the morning to get tell me to get my marker and write it down on the board. Deliverance demonstrated once you receive a water baptism and the fire and the Spirit come down on you. Jesus sends the helper, the Holy Spirit, to occupy your temple, your body. So I have no more to say. I don't want to keep it... Uh, I don't want to get into a long one today. Um, I love y'all so much in Jesus, and I'm just praying everybody is doing well. Um, I have a sister that I've known since we were about 14. That's in Phoenix, Arizona. Her name is Lisa. If you guys could pray for her, she's got great dental pain going on right now. Um, uh, other than that, I just hope that y'all are blessed and stay safe on this, this day. Amen. And um, we will we will talk to you soon. Again, I love you guys so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Everybody is well and good. And just let your light shine, guys. Because when you truly believe in Jesus, he is, he is real and he is coming. And we don't have a lot of time left. So please, if you can just speak to one person even. We all have our boundaries because of certain things but get over it you can speak up and be bold and courageous for the lord because we are all his servants okay i'm a servant you're his servant we are all servants of the lord and we are all sons of god it does not matter if you're a daughter son or daughter it's the same thing and there's nobody any better than anybody else we are all the same he loves us all the same one percent of him fills up every man, woman, and child on the planet, and he still has 99% left over. So I will leave you guys with that, and have an awesome day. Blessings.